big fat French. I don't know how I put myself through it. I don't know why I put myself through it. It's a better thing to say. And I don't know how uh, people can put themselves through it. Well, that's the most redundant intro I've ever done. What the fuck does that even mean? <laughs> Oh, well, you seem like a nice person. Are you? Thank you so much, Mesh, for being here. Already? Yes. Why? Thank you so much. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, what? I have 30 minutes left. Yeah, there's a change of program. Why? Because we, we have, like, some AAA remarks that we need to make. But some people are enjoying this. I think. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be real uncomfortable for y'all. All right, well, look, I, I mean, I've been booed before, but this is strange. Should, all right, let's do a vote. Actually, we have a change of program. I'm sorry, the tech has to leave for an event. The tech has to leave? Yeah. They better be leaving. No, they have a dance event for tomorrow. They have a, so why did, why did this come up now? Because they have to leave earlier than expected. What the hell is going on? I don't know who this is. This is, this is an awkward for the dude. Because the crowd seemed to be enjoying it. This is awkward for the people that are telling them to fuck off the stage. Is it because I'm talking about uncomfortable stuff? I think you can be uh, respectful while being uncomfortable. But like, I, I think there's a distinction between being uncomfortable and being disrespectful. I, <laughs> I think I'm being respectful. I just don't think you are entitled to certain jokes you're making. And I don't Why? think it's appropriate. I just don't think it's But like, what? What? I think the comments that you were making about being gay and black was very disrespectful to the group. That got that from a gay black dude. He gave me that joke. Oh, God. Oh, oh, this is the thing I hate about comedy these days. Like, um, some comedians will, like talk about this quite a lot in the sense of, like, you can make any joke. It's the person that's on the receiving end of like listening to that joke. They'll be the ones to make themselves offended by it. Like they'll find a reason to be angry at it. Like it's a joke. It's meant to like, what are we going to joke about? If we got like the second any joke is made, someone's like, oh, I'm offended by that. I just get really angry about it. It's like, it's a joke. It's a joke. As long as not someone's not being like straight up, like fully racist. And they're actually like making a point of like, yes, I'm saying that this is like, that, that wouldn't be a joke at that point. I, I, comedy is a hard thing these days. Comedy is a hard thing these days because you fucking can't open your mouth anywhere and someone's like, oh, I'm offended. I'm so offended by that comment. Hello again. This is from Tank. I'm going to demystify the Brajoli steak. I'm going to show you how I make them. Da, 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 do, do. I got a nice little stick of butter here that I'm A whole stick up. of butter. There's the Brajoli steak. See the package? Brajoli no. steak. Who needs to cook in that much? That's a whole fucking month's worth of butter. I open up the Brajoli steak. Dude, clean your sink. And I was going to say earlier, clean your fucking cooker as well. Oh, mate, this is going to... No, I mean, no wonder he gets so much shit on his cooker. Because he's cooking in like seven kilos of goddamn butter. Oh. One steak in the fry di daddy daddy -di pan. And two steaks in the frying pan. Oh, dude. And then I spice him up. Oh, he's using the same hand he just picked up the. <laughs> no! Oh. This is a joke, right? Garlic powder? Right, that's fine. Still using the I'll same hand that he's just handled raw meat with. For the Montreal. That is the most disgusting looking listen i am not a massive meat fan anyway that's what she said <laughs> oh dude that's gonna kill him if it hasn't already oh. i flip for the steaks that looks disgusting the fuck is that that's like a fucking cow's tongue and nice spice him up again more salt more salt this dude is dying this dude's dead i'm telling i'm calling it now he's dead mm -hmm. it's done mm -hmm. what's he having it with a big fat plate of chips Oh, he's gonna drip the fat Out everywhere. Of the frying pan? Oh, he's just dripping it everywhere. And onto the plate. It's never second rate. And he just is. No, no, a bit. no, 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 no,
Also joining our broadcast team tonight, a man who had a long and distinguished career as a ring judge, over 3,000 fights judge, 132 of those were world championship matches, and Chuck Giampa will join us tonight to give us special insights, and Chuck, tell our viewers a little bit of what, about what you're going to be doing on this broadcast tonight. Thank you, Al. Tonight I will be taking you inside the mind of a judge. Tonight I'll be taking you inside the mind of a judge. Yeah, shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Either he forgot what he was meant to say next, or he was reading a teleprompter that didn't give him the next line. Hello, tonight I'll be taking you inside the mind of a judge. Where's the next fucking line? Inside the mind of a judge. That's the Razor Kitty Kraken's Bluetooth edition. And it's going to retail at just 99 99 right after this keynote room and something that we've kind of come up together with our friends at TikTok oh, no, is a not TikTok. challenge and we call it the hashtag razor learn to meow dance challenge all right and we've put together a, oh a quick don't tell video me he's going to do it to kind of show you what the dance challenge is going to look like okay oh, um, God. i would love to be able to do it if uh, the concurrent views are much more if and i'll totally do it together with wenji but um, probably not today and he's going to be doing that He's going to be doing that. What the fuck is this? Uh, lovely. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if it wasn't obvious already, those, those headphones definitely cater to a certain audience. I'm not going to say which audience. You know exactly what I'm talking about. So now... Rug Doctor, $40. Do you have a, a proof that you paid Rug Doctor $40? I can't find the receipt. All right, and that would have been for what? That would be her fault? Two times. Once she was sitting on that couch and she's shaking her legs. I said, Jennifer, what's going on? I have to use the bathroom, but I'm in the middle of a game. I said, take the game with you to the bathroom. When I'm finished with this level, after she finishes, she gets up and the back end of her, she's going to the bathroom all over my rug, the back end. Number two. <laughs> Dude, how can you get to the point of holding a shit in that much that you shit yourself while playing a game? If I was playing, a, if I was doing anything, if I need a shit, I'm going for a fucking shit. Not to the point where I'm like literally fucking turtle's heads popping out and he's about to say hello to the fucking carpet. That's the first time. She calls me into the back bedroom. I go, what's up? I look down. There is a pile of... Number two. Okay, what is that about? I did have an accident, but that was because I could not make it to the bathroom in time because I was in the middle of trying to get something else put together. Right, but you know, when duty calls, duty calls. Like, pay I understand to that, but I- <laughs> Okay, okay, but you were ha She was actually to take care of something else. Nothing takes priority over if I'm about to literally shit myself. If I'm about to literally shit my pants, I'm, I'm heading there as fast as I goddamn can. I'm going to sing an opera area oh. of uh, uh, Verdi's um, opera. I think. Oh, yeah. wow. Which number are you singing? Number 39 with rice? <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you studying? I don't know what's worse, the fact that one, he tried that joke, or two, there was people in the crowd laughing with him. What do you do to relax? What do you do to switch off? Uh, I, I, well, I like to <laughs> paint, um, or I make things. I like to... What do you make? I make... <laughs> why, did he, why did he struggle so much to decide what he likes to do? I like to... Um, what the fuck do I like to do? I'm a boring bastard. I have a thing where I make models of... I mean, when I was in like, well, Mayor of London, we build a beautiful... I make buses. You make models of buses. I make models of buses. See, they're going to be in the street. So, so what I do? No, what I do make models of buses. But what I'm, I make is, I get, I get, old, um, I don't know, cr wooden crates. Yeah. Right. And then I paint them. And they, uh, and they have two. two I suppose it's a wine. It's a box that's been used to contain two, two wine bottles, right? Right. And it will have a, 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 a dividing thing. <laughs> 
Fucking hell, why is this dude running our country? Jesus Christ. Fucking Bojo, man. What a guy. What a guy in the worst fucking way of saying that. Anyways, if you did enjoy this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and subscribe. It's free, and I'll see you next time. Take care.